This is the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 17, for November 9th, 2020, where we review one triple IPA and two stouts. Welcome to the Podcraft Beer Show for November 9th, 2020. This is episode 17. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's intro for host Chris and Charlie. The craft beers in this week's show starts off with a triple IPA from Equilibrium Brewing based out of Middleton, New York, that was done in collaboration with the other half of brewing, which is headquartered out of Brooklyn, New York. And then we try a double imperial pastry stout from Modern Times that is based here in San Diego. And then the closer was a truly spectacular barrel-aged stout called Blue Bear from Horace Aged Ales, which has set up shop in Oceanside, California. If you want to subscribe to this podcast via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. So without any more delay, please enjoy today's show. This is the Podcraft Beer Show, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. I'm your host, Chris. We have your other host, Charlie. Yo. We got tech guy, Steve, covering us on the technical front. Hello. Uh, today, guys, we're going to talk about a triple IPA from Equilibrium, a stout from Modern Times, and another stout from Horace. Yeah, <laughs> stouts. Man, we have a couple stouts today. So the uh, first, what do you got up, uh, Charlie? A little Equilibrium. <laughs> Equilibrium. It's a called Dream Lab. It's a collaboration with the other half brewery. One, the other half, one of your favorites. They're all my favorites, really. I just, I like them all. That's for sure. Here you go. So you got a triple IPA here. Ooh, smells good. <laughs> smells really good. <laughs> there you go, Steve. Oh, oh, man. I can't wait. I'm going to let you jump in first. Man, that's. It's hazy. It is. Yeah, it uh, pours a, a nice yellow, nice thick hazy. Mm. Has a really danky smell to it. It's, it's a really high. good smell. Yeah, yeah it does like have a it. really good smell. I like it. It's really smooth, like just oats and just like super soft. Not that's, really boozy either. No. That's 10%. Yeah, I was going to say that's <laughs> dangerous, Will Roberts. <laughs> Danger, Will Roberts, and that thing is super... That's a really drinkable. good beer. I mean, that's the two best hazy, probably, breweries in the country, I would say. It's really good. Equilibrium in the other half. Maybe it's, Android. Theory. It's also got to be a candle. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, no, they're definitely. Put this in the candle? Definitely get some, some, some resiny, some, some, uh, just super hoppy, huh? Smell. Oh, that's really, really good. Really smooth. Well. Glad I got three more. <laughs> That's going to be entertaining. Yeah, I always get nervous when, you, um, when you're going to pop like a triple IPA. So well, you, I could taste the alcohol in the back. It tastes a little bit on the back, but on the front, you don't taste it at, at all. all. And it's not super boozy. No. There's like, uh, it's, it's hidden really, really well in there. It's fun. That's a really good beer. So they're both out of New York then, right? Yeah. They yeah. are. Here, let me... Let me look at the label in here and check it out. Okay, we got 10% alcohol. This is a triple IPA, and um, they want you to serve it cold, but uh, they're out of Middletown, New York. And uh, the other half is like in Brooklyn. So, I mean, I don't know where Middletown is compared to Brooklyn, but. It's about halfway between the city and Albany. Really? Yep. He, right knows that, his, uh, he knows his New York towns. I do. I got a map in front of me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was actually looking that up a little earlier. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's about. There's a little, a little more north, here uh, if, you're, if you're interested. Looks like it's about a half a thumbnail north uh, west of the city. Hmm. So it's just like a hop, skip, and a jump. That's what it looks like. Perfect. No, yeah, uh, maybe 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 a third of the way between New York City and Albany is what it appears. Well, I I've either been, way, I've been watching these guys on Instagram, and they're just some. of The can art is gorgeous. I mean, they're doing all kinds of neat stuff on the can here. I mean, it's 
These are definitely uh, legit cans. They do a lot of collabs as well locally with guys. I think is is how I've kind of uh, uh, seen them recently. Like they just they just released a can of stout this or a bottle of stout this week with North Park Brewing. Uh, and then recently a bottle with uh Are we getting any Horace. of that North Park stuff? Uh no. It was released out of uh Equilibrium. And then they do their releases on um on Eventbrite. And uh, their bottles sell out I believe you know, pretty quickly. Um they they did a, a Mostra uh collab recently, but I haven't been able to to come up with any uh, anything. All right. I like it. So but they um look at but like, they they ship to a lot tech of guy uh, Steve is begging me to give him the beer can so he can drink the rest of it right out. I'm of taking it. pictures. Oh yeah, right. They um, I use that excuse all the time. I they ship to a, a lot of different a uh, lot of different comp a uh, lot of different uh, states. Mm. So you can um you can you can order directly from their uh, from the brewery. Not to California though. No, I believe Nevada is one. I had a uh, middleman. Got a little middleman. Very middleman well. delivery. Middle meal. There you go. Makes so, do you guys work. have any uh, any decent beers this week? Heck yeah, Steve. Did you? He's got a look. <laughs> I got. I, just, mine. I don't want to get this wrong. I get mine right here. I started out with some uh, Pure Project. Uh, actually, I started out with uh, some Modelo because we had uh, my wife fix up a wonderful. Uh, authentic mexican meal for us and so i went the modelo route for that and then i popped in oh you popped in and we popped these uh the horse bottle which we was did actually yeah, day that, dolphin yeah that was really good it was amazing so do i gotta pick one did you, you say do. you gotta go you gotta pick what was the best beer you had this week uh then we i had a black project and then i had the uh, cosmic illusions from uh, pure project it was that imperial sour you know what I'm going to say, don't you? What's that? <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Uh, it's going to have to be that that stout from Horace. Oh, was that the that day Delvin? Yeah, that thing was super good. That was a really really. I good mean, the second comes that Black Project because I was in for mood for a stout, but I had yeah. I had the wild ale the next day, yeah. so it was good too. It's they're equal, yeah, but different. <laughs> I would say. Um, yeah, the best beer I had all week. I had a, a coworker of mine sent me some uh, some Track Seven from Sacramento. Yeah, a uh, little 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 spot uh, uh, in Sacramento. It was a um, it was a kettle sour called uh, Contents Under Pressure. It was a, a blueberry vanilla um, kettle sour. Wow. Phenomenal, super fruity. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it was blueberries, raspberries, banana, lemon, and vanilla. It was super super tasty. Hung out outside and and sucked that guy down after work the other day. Well, I, I'm definitely uh, bummed that I had to only pick one beer out of them. There it is. Get one. Yeah, I needed I needed more. But uh, in the future, we're gonna have to. There's a there's like twelve bottles of beer on the counter there that we need to start going through at some point. Some point on or off the air, I don't really care. <laughs> I just want to drink them at some point because they're just sitting there smiling at me, and it's. I don't. I don't want to crack, you know, especially if it's a big bottle. But I mean, those. What is it? Five hundred milligram. Yeah, those are great for stouts. Yeah, that's a one person bottle. If you, if it's not too super rich, but you know, I'm willing to help. Yeah. No. I, uh Steve, what'd you have? Uh, so the Epic Brewing. Okay. Yeah, the ten forty five to Denver. Their Indian Pale Ale. Yeah. This is really, really, really poured out really well, and not super fizzy. It was pretty so, good. It was a really, I mean, I thought it was probably one of the better IPAs I've had really, at least recently, at least. Yeah. I was trying to, um, last week I thought I was going to swing into their brewery, but I, I didn't, I didn't yeah. make it over there. Do you know what this has in it? This, this, uh, triple IPA? Mm. You know what I taste? Is, do you remember that beer that we, you and I didn't like? I've never had a beer I didn't like. And, yeah, but we gave, we gave all of our extra beer to Jake. Remember? That we had those extra? I, yep. Jake really liked it, and what we didn't it? like that. What was it? I forget. It was one of the... It was, it was a Modern Times. It was a Modern Times release. And it... I mean, it was. It just tasted really grainy. That's mm -hmm. what I get on the back end of this. Is yeah. That alcohol it, grainy. That was actually a beer I didn't like. <laughs> I know. That's why Jake I really liked it. Yeah. It was, so, we gave him all of our ones that we had. We had probably two, two four-packs of each. Yeah. That, so, uh, it was... It was 
it tastes really good at the beginning and then it didn't taste any good after a while. So I don't know what happened there, but this one is a lot different. It just has that hint of that grain. It's almost, I don't know, the smells worth drinking anyways. I don't care. I'll drink this every day if it, if I had to. Yeah, that was a really good beer. So that 1045 to, uh, to Denver, I think they make that year round, huh? Yeah, it's in the can. Is it? Okay. Christy got it at beverages and more. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's, I got to check that place out. Yeah. I, I tried that one day and then I didn't realize they weren't open until 345 or something like that. It's like late in the day. For the brewery? The, the one down the at the one, waterfront. The one right? waterfront. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're, um, yeah. Well, there's a couple of them we got to go to that we haven't been to. And I have off on, I have off work on Wednesday. So I'm going to have to. Are we taking, so, are we going to go to Moxa? I couldn't, I couldn't get Monday and Tuesday off. Let's take that up with the management. I'm taking a trip then on my own, I think. Perfect. Go visit these places, throw my weight around, which I do well. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Did we get those stickers yet? No stickers. No, I was actually looking at those. Yeah, we got to, uh, we got to hit that. The, uh, I'm- did you see? You want stick? You want you want to bring stickers back from Moxa? And- no, we need our own stickers. Yeah, so you can be st- oh, the pod- slap places. Around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to have that. Um, I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna grab a few beers, and then I'm heading over to Humble Sea, and I'm gonna grab a few beers, and then I'm I'll probably go through Alvarado Street too, unless I hit the uh, East of Eden first. I may not go to Alvarado Street if I eat used to be. So, just, you know. I think they, they do all their, uh, where's that, that East of Eden? That's same, that's just their, uh, it's at their separate, bro- right? They have the they're Salinas wild, and then they sours, have their other or, one. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's so that you can get the, the beers, you can get all the, the East of Eden and what is it, Salinas? And then, um, so that would be the tap room. If you went there, you'd be able to get the, the others as well. They're just so good. I mean, I yeah. remember tasting them at uh, what fest- Festival of Funk they were at at one time. And you were like, yeah, this is Alvarado Street. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, um, they make some really, really good beers yeah. for sure. Quite happy with everything they've done. What are we doing next, Haas? Let's, uh, let's check out one of those stouts. You can tell us uh, more about where you're going. Well, I'm, where am I going? I'm going to be going straight up to Moxa. And then uh, from Moxa, I mean, you know, seriously, depending on what uh, what's going on there. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Liquid gold. So here Anyways. we got the Temple of Silence, coconut, uh, cacao, and marshmallow. Cacao. Uh, Temple of Silence from uh, Stout from Ooh. Modern Times. It smells amazing. A lot of coconuts in that. Did you just pick this up? I don't know. I, I found it Got in it. my fridge out there. I, I don't really pay attention to what I picked up. If I pick something up, I usually drink it. So, But this is probably from uh, Josh. And uh, I just, anything with coconut marshmallows, <laughs> I'm pretty much interested yeah, it's really, really good tasting beer. And that should be, I got my little temperature gauge here. Yeah, we're at 61 degrees. So it's a little chill. It's going to drop off in temperature for us, and then we'll probably get some nice different flavor out of it. Oh, yeah, that's super, super tasty. Uh very mild. So just your regular uh, uh, Temple of Silence with with some adjuncts, the coconut, the marshmallows. Um, man, they I love the write ups that that Modern Times uses as well. Yeah, they have a. I'm sure it's a paid uh, uh, someone with like Shakespeare background and yeah. yeah. <laughs> they definitely, if you're in the market for pure liquid indulgence, look no further. We loaded this already delicious imperial stout with heaps of toasted coconut, cacao nibs, and vegan marshmallows, resulting in this glorious eruption of rich chocolatey dessert flavors. It's an excellent uh, way to treat yourself after a long week or a particularly mind-numbing Zoom meeting. (laughs) Did he just say (laughs) vegan marshmallows? He did. (laughs) Yes. I like it. It makes all the difference. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's, you know, a, it's really good beer. It I'm, is super, super good. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I'm man, totally man. vegan when I drink their beer. They, um, yeah, when you eat down there, they're going to open, uh, they're opening a restaurant here I in like uh, Santee. I think you'll be able to get like uh, some burrito, or not in Santee, excuse me, um, uh, in, uh, I don't know where, we're, we're not in Santee, but um, in San Diego, they're uh, down on the waterfront, they're opening, um, you'll be able to get like burrito bowls, I think like vegan burrito bowls there. Yeah. I'll eat um, anything, pretty much. I yeah, mean, if it's good, I don't care what it's in it. I mean. There you go. As long as there's not like, you know, maybe ducklings or little furry, you know, sea otters and stuff. <laughs> I'll pretty much eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's super good. You can you can definitely taste the coconut. Mm. You can't go wrong with a, with a uh, modern time stout. I mean, just for, I mean, in a 12 ounce can, are you kidding me? That's uh, do the math. <laughs> I um, <laughs> that's four ounces a piece. That's pretty good. Yeah, I I um, I really like. They recently released um, four packs of uh, I don't know what the stout was, but each one of them had a different um, different vanilla yeah. bean in there, which was great. You could try like uh, you could crack two stouts, have two different kinds of of vanilla beans, uh, and they're and they're small, you know, twelve ounce cans, so yeah. they're. Uh, you can I split them with one person or whatever. Batch of them out there in the garage. Yeah, they just um, they do a good job. Modern Times makes such such good beers. Look at that viscosity on there. Yeah, you they're see uh, that just lip it up the sides. It's like you could run a diesel off of this stuff, man. So you're gonna do Humble Sea and Moxa for sure. Yeah, Those absolutely. Two. two, two. I'm definitely hitting. I I may or may not depending on. You know, traffic, time, you know, how I feel. When are you taking off? Could be Monday, could be Tuesday. I don't want to set a schedule, you know. I got people no looking for me. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to broadcast that. Oh, this won't even show till the, this won't air till the, till after I'm back, probably. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. No, I'm, I'm going up there. I'm going to grab everything they got. I'm going to throw my weight around. Like I said, I'm going to mention your name. No, we don't go doing that. You'll probably get <laughs> ran out of there. Well, maybe your buddy will meet me there. I'll I'll see if they uh, if they will for sure. I got a few beers for him. I got to get uh, get a, get up that way. I'll take him up there. That's why you were asking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm like, what's your what's your schedule look like? Dates and times. exactly what time will you be there? <laughs> and how much room do you have? Exactly. Do well, I'm, I'm taking my car, so there are no seats in the back. I have two front seats, and that's it. Do you have room for a stowaway? Stowaway, yeah. Any stowaways are welcome. Yeah, that's, but I'm only one stowaway. Yeah, the rest of them are going to have to be, you know, like laying, you know, rolling around in the back because there's no seats back there. So when when this uh my my uh story time, my I think it was my senior year of high school. My buddy uh, <laughs> Spencer laughing. Spencer uh, <laughs> uh, it was me and and uh, this kid Spencer. I'm not going to say any last names to protect the semi innocent. <laughs> but we decided that we would go, uh, uh, we were going to drive from- Innocent or ignorant? Semi-innocent. <laughs> yeah, exactly both. <laughs> we were going to take uh, all back roads from, from where we lived in southern Minnesota, and we were going to drive to Chicago without getting on the freeway, right? We're wow. like, and, and Spencer was like, how are we going to do that without a map? We're like, no map. We're just going to drive, right? And we're like, it's really easy, dude. We just drive until we hit like Iowa. And we take a left until we hit water. <laughs> like it's it's going to be that easy. Follow right? the water down. Yeah. So we uh, the best part when you said no no seats is what brought this up. So um, we like right we we almost got out of town and and uh, I don't know what <laughs> happened but somehow we broke the passengers. Or, no, Spencer broke the driver's seat, so it wouldn't oh, stay up. Oh my! It wouldn't gosh. lock into place. So we had to go back to his house and take out the passenger seat. And switch the passenger seat with the driver's seat and just throw the, the, the passenger seat or the driver's seat in his garage. <laughs> so, we drove this whole way. It was great because nobody had to argue over who was sitting shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> because we were both sitting in the back seat with like a our leg. Our leg room was where a, a car used to be you know, or seat yeah. used to be. So, we. So you didn't just, you didn't like bolt down like a lawn chair or something yeah like there. a like a milk crate to yeah. sit on or something no we uh and then it was uh so we drove and drove and we left at like noon and um finally i remember i was like oh we're almost there we like we crossed this and wisconsin's like 25 minutes 30 minutes from where i live mm -hmm. and and iowa's like an hour and a half 
It took us, it was like 10 o'clock at night. We crossed a bridge and we went into Iowa and then we crossed another bridge and went into, into Wisconsin. And we're like, what in the heck? Just, we're like right, right in that corner. We're like <laughs> 90 minutes from our house, right? <laughs> it's taken us like 10 hours. <laughs> and we're like driving around the same cornfield for five hours. <laughs> it's terrible. So we grabbed a hotel room and, and drove the 45 minutes home in the morning. <laughs> or what it was. Like. It was, I mean, it, like we were home by like 10 the next morning or something. Huh. We're like, this ain't going to work out. You know, we had probably, a hundred and fifty dollars between the four of us. Mm. So, you guys were wealthy then. It was great. Yeah, it was. Uh, That's the type of trips I like. When all you had to do was, you know, we we're like, hey, all we got to do is everybody's got to fill the tank one time. We got to stop at a couple of McDonald's, a couple of quick trips for some, uh, you know, McGriddles. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't get very far though. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> yeah, that was our spring break trip when we're like the three of us were sitting around and like we're like, hey. All our buddies are on spring. We should go somewhere. Let's go to Chicago. Well, that's easy. Let's not make it easy. <laughs> Let's not take the Terrible freeway idea. right? or highway, I guess you call them. Did, well, there were toll roads, right? Is that why There's you were no avoiding? toll roads. None? No. Wow. Not in Minnesota. Chicago, there is. Oh, I sure. can tell you about toll roads. Good night. I, I got some it. stories about toll roads. We'll get into that later. We should. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited about your trip. The uh, I'm excited about that beer. I'm really excited about pastry stouts. Um, I'm excited about stouts. What uh, what's uh, what do you got? What's the the grand finale? You know what's next? We're going after potty. You got a bottle opener? Yeah, I do. It's right over Perfect. there. Perfect. Tech so, guy Steve has it. Uh, so our final beer is uh, is Horace's uh blue beer, which he had made for uh, blue bear. Is it blue bear? Yeah. Or did I say blue bear? Yeah. Uh, blue bear, as it is. Um, or it's going to kick your face in next time he sees you. Claw my face off. <laughs> uh, so this beer was originally made um, for uh, release with, I, I believe, uh, Kyle was invited to um, to Cantalone to uh, to release with their bla- uh, with their blueberry I gotta uh, whip, beer. I got to. Is there any more of this available? No. No. Oh my gosh! No, there was there is was. A, is this a whale? Yeah, this would be. Um, this is s- beyond. I'm. I've already smelled it, and I'm like, this thing hit me as soon as I popped that beer. So there was maybe there was probably 300 bottles, maybe like there was a bottle for everybody in this in the club, and then a few extras, like a handful more. Um, I don't know how many people are in the club. Two fifty, maybe. Wow. Um, but they, uh, let's go ahead and pour that thing. No, I'm going to drink it all by myself. You guys are on your own. There's a couple <laughs> more beers in there. Crack them. So originally, you know what's going down. Yeah. he was supposed to release that in, um, in wow. Belgium. Uh, and then that COVID came along. It's the, it's the only thing that COVID has provided anything. You know, it's the only thing that's provided me was that bottle of beer. Everything else, it's taken. Okay. If this isn't yeah. the best smelling beer I've ever smelled. Should be good, huh? Oh my gosh, it's amazing! So we have just uh, that smell, that blueberry, and oh, gosh. so it's a French oak barrel aged imperial stout with blueberries, chocolate, coffee, hazelnuts, marshmallow, pecans, and vanilla added. Oh man, that's that's crazy. Those that are, is the best smelling thing I've ever smelled. I mean, there's blueberries all over that nose. You ever, you ever, um, you ever. The uh, vanilla. Smelled the blueberry syrup from like International House of Pancakes. That's what it wafts right into your face. It's almost don't even want to drink it. Just sit and smell that guy. Oh man, I don't want to taste it. I just want to smell it. That's it. Let's, let's see what he says. It's just so viscous, and those blueberries come come through super good. Really? Yeah, I'm jumping in. I don't know if you really taste too much of the. Barrel the blueberries you really come through in the syrup. Is there um holy cow? That's pretty good, huh? That's a oh it's amazing. Yeah, that's um you know, we recently had a uh a blueberry stout. Didn't, didn't we have a blueberry stout? We had maple syrup, we had a like toppling or a uh we had a pure great notion collaboration that was I thought it was blueberries, maple syrup. It was super good. It's not on this level. It wasn't. This is, I mean, the adjuncts on this are just so level. Yeah. Right? It's like, it's like butter. Yeah. No, that's a, um, that's super, super tasty. I've been sitting on this one for a minute. A minute or 12 years. Yeah. I think, uh, 
I'm trying to think when they released it. You know, I love smelling it just as much as I like drinking it. That's how good it is. Yeah, it's super, super velvety. It's just right. super viscous. Goodness. The um Yeah, I, I brought it's this one get in. The holy stout, man. That thing is crazy good. That is a that's a super tasty beer. Uh I brought this. Um I was uh I I made it up to to the pickup this last week, so I got a couple of a uh, couple other barrel aged beers. His barrel aged beers are are my favorites. They're just uh, they're French oak so barrels? well done. Fr- French oak in this case. Mm. That's magic. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a pretty. Uh, and this is the one without one. the bird on it, so it's got a bear on it. Does have a bear? Yep. So that was. Uh, Who does his artwork? Uh, Spring Whitaker is the lady's name. Uh, so it's she's out of uh, the East Coast somewhere. You can actually go to her webpage, mm-hmm. and and she has all kinds of animals that she does. Uh, you can buy prints for them, uh, and and for the. Um, uh, for these as well. Um, That's really amazing. That's, with yeah. the blueberry? Yeah. I mean, yeah it's it's like, like, pretty wild, huh? Doesn't it remind you of blueberry syrup? <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. Because oh, blueberry gosh. wouldn't be the you know the adjunct that I would be like, hey, you should throw that in a stout. You but know? when you're like, looking at it on the edge in the glass, you can see it's got this 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 blueberry hazy red like viscosity looking thing to it. If you sh- look at shake it around like that. Oh my gosh, that's wicked cool! Yeah, it's just a like a little brown kind of. Well, it looks it's it looks like a stout normally when you're staring at a, at a certain angle, but when you tip that thing down and look down into the edge, you can see the the blueberry color. It's awesome. I like it. Yeah, that's pretty. If I'd good. have known you had that, I wouldn't even let you open it. I'm excited! I've tried to uh, tried to pop that guy a couple of times. This Never is the right, time. This right, is uh, great right occasion. So I'm glad that worked out. Um, also, uh, it, it, you know, I don't think we've mentioned, uh, you know, the last couple episodes have been uh, with with Burning Beard. Yeah. And just, uh, you know, another thanks to to Jeff and Mike for, for having us Those out there. Those guys are great. Great people. It was just so much fun to sit there and, you know, ask a question, let them go. <laughs> it was great. We had a good time. We drank some beers. They had yeah, some good beers. They, uh, and then we hauled out there with the, with the, with the load of beer that we bought up afterwards. So... Yeah, we took everything they had. I think. Yeah, they. Um, I'm super excited to see where their their barrel program goes. They're, um Did they have their release already? I think they did release yesterday. Cool. I'm gonna go get one of those good bottles then. There you go. One of the big bottles. I like it. The one we drank that we couldn't get. Yep. What was it? That I that I drank. Uh, um, dig Lazarus. Dig. Dig Lazarus. Dig. I didn't taste that. It was good. You'll have to take my word for it. Or drive out there and. What about the one? Uh, didn't we have. Uh, what was the one we dr- that we drank? The pear. The pear. Yeah. yeah. That was a big mistake I did in the last. The, the second. The, the oh, introduction yeah. of the beers because they switched them. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh, we, yeah, had, yeah. we had a last minute <laughs> shift on there. We had a. Uh, we we drank the, uh, the pear instead of the. Uh, Ap- Ap- it was just the regular. Uh, um. Either way, we yeah, I was the pair was phenomenal. The pair was really good. It was yeah. That was that and was. I didn't my pick up beer. on that when he was talking, and then I was like, "This doesn't sound like the same beer that we thought we were going to have." <laughs> right, I'm right. Okay, drink. You didn't right. bust in and say, "Hey, wait a minute." <laughs> it was. Well, really I tried to slow you guys down in the second one because they're because we did drink two more beers than we had planned, but that was only because they were so excited. Right. That, well. You, yeah, we weren't going to turn them down at that yeah. point. I mean, you just got to let them roll. I mean, that yeah, was, no, that was that was a lot of fun. Those guys are, are definitely talented and really, really good guys. Yeah, you know, Jeff's. Uh, uh, that was the first time I'd gotten to to sit down and talk to to Jeff and talk to Mike previously, but um, to really kind of pick pick Jeff's brain. Was, well, they hadn't done great. a uh, podcast in a while either, so that was kind of interesting. So yeah, got him back on the mic. You know, turned him loose and uh, let it happen. It was, I thought it was pretty cool. Did a good job. Everybody enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah, it was fun drinking those beers, and I don't, and I love me an ESB. So you know, anytime I'm drinking ESB, I'm happy. So there you go. <laughs> I like it. So uh, hopefully, uh, Charlie can uh, comes back with some tales, some wild tales from his upcoming trip. I hope and, it's uh, not too wild because that means I'm in trouble. I was incarcerated five times. You know, <laughs> if we can uh, we can share those on the uh, on the flip side. There it is. I'll do it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for that stout, Chris. Wow. Yes. It's wicked good.
I hope you enjoyed today's show. It was a lot of fun to put together. In review, there were three craft beers. Dream Lab from Equilibrium in collaboration with Other Half. Temple of Silence with coconut, cocoa, and marshmallow from Modern Times. And I guess literally and figuratively, the one and only Blue Bear from Horus. To subscribe to the PodCraft show, get links, see pictures, and to connect with the podcast via email or social media, and then head over to thepodcraft.com for all that info. Please also consider recommending the show to the craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. This is Tech Guy Steve signing off for the PodCraft podcast. Have a great day. The PodCraft podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.